Hello everyone, we're back for another round of the New York Times Mini Crossword. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, please uh, take about a minute, 20 seconds off my final time. Target for a golf putt. Your target for a golf putt. I think it's called the pin. Ah. Okay. Uh, four, flavor of much purple candy. Flavor of much purple candy. I'm not sure about that. What thinks with neural networks informally? Um, I'm not sure. We'll get that, though. Uh, outside edge of a brook. I don't know. It could be the shore of a brook. Writing implement? I hope that's a pen. Let's go for the downs. One down. Summer camp building. Oh. It's okay. I got it. We're going to make a correction here. It's a cabin for sure. And I think we have to call this the cup, not the pin. Okay. Two down once. Okay. Thank you for a nice easy one. Upon a time. And three. Politi politician Buttigieg. Pete. Okay. Um, now we got this. So this is going to be grape. Wish I could type these in better. Really terrible at that. Ah, uh, robot. What things with neural networks informally? I guess would be a robot. And now we got to be careful. Want to get this right? Um, let's just double check. Uh, out. Okay, so if we go four down, my word. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think something's a little messed up here. Ready to be picked as fruit. Oh, okay, so it's not going to be a robot. This has to be ripe. All right, and now six across. What thinks? Hmm. Oh, guys, something's something's a foul here because because this is not um, this isn't making any sense with my outside edge of a brook. My word. What thinks with neural networks informally? Darn it. Summer camp building. I mean, come on. Those have got to be your cabins in the cup that, you know, it's definitely Pete Buttigieg. Two down, once upon a time. The cabin, the flavor of purple candy is grape. That's got to be correct. Um, pen. I think where I messed up here is basically it's just this word here. Outside of edge of a brook. I mean, could six across be a ribbit? I don't. I don't know. I, I'm really not sure. I might have to. I might take a hit on this one. Um, And I can't make a word with this outside edge of the brook. I mean, I, it, I don't think it would be spine because then grisp doesn't make sense for my word for four down. Um, oh, gosh, man. I need to. Ah, it is spine. I need to. Re, I need to read. Basically, guys, I'm going to be honest. Right now, uh, my vision is sort of like right on the edge between. So I don't like to wear my glasses um, because, you know, I'm nearsighted. But the thing is that my vision is getting a little bit worse. And so I'm right on the edge where when I'm reading on the screen, it is just ever so faintly blurry. And I kept reading that as brook instead of book. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So it will be spine. Okay. But the thing is, I'm just not crazy about. Okay. So what is Ford? 
So this thing is though that this four down, um, I'm not 100% sure. And I don't know about grisp for my word. I love spine. That's definitely correct. Okay. So maybe what I should do is get rid of, let's get rid of this letter here and put in the spine. That'll help me visualize it a little. Oh, gasp. Okay. But then I'm not crazy about a bot. What the heck is an a bot? Even though the rest of the letters are perfect. Ah, I mean, I feel like those are great, but an A bot, what? All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, oh my goodness, guys. All right, we did it. That was uh, got kind of painful. Seven minutes, what we said to subtract about a minute and a half, so five and a half. Uh, that wasn't that bad. I just, I just need to be able to read better. Oh, my goodness. Outside edge of a brook. You're not going to get that one, man. You're not going to get that one. All right, guys. Well, sorry that took a little bit longer. Uh, those who are in the field, please do let me know this ABOT thing. I don't, is that like an acronym for something? I haven't heard of that. Um, I'd like to know like, you know, what, what that stands for. That was purely based off of the other letters. Well, there you have it, guys. And I'll look forward to seeing you for another round tomorrow.